Here we are at port part 14 of my video walkthrough for Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link, and we have just entered the final palace. And uh, here we go. Try to step you step by step you through here as best I can. Uh, we want to start off by heading left at the bottom of the elevator. Um, really, your best bet is to just not even bother trying to like really kill anything in here. I mean, there's no point. The, everything eats away tons of life. It's really hard to kill. Jump uh, right there whenever you're lined up with the statue so you don't fall into the pit. Um, head down the elevator here. And, uh, this time we're going to want to go to the right, which there are no enemies over here. Um, there's also no enemies on the screen, which uh, I find kind of weird. Seems like a good place for some of them skull things. But uh, there's nothing. Just uh, keep heading to the right here. We got another uh, flame spitting red bird thing. I don't know. I don't know what stuff's called. Um, just head down the ladder here. And, uh, head to the right. Um, here we have some golden floating head statues, which, uh, other than having more hit points, aren't really anything special. Jump the respawn is square is right on that pit, so, so that's why he came back. Um, just keep heading to the right. Gotta dig tunnels through these little things here, which is kind of annoying. Um, and this next thing here, uh, you want to use your shield spell. Again, just uh, try to avoid these guys. Uh, what we want to do is uh, dig our way through the uh, blocks here so we can get to the elevator and then just uh, head down. Um, if we head to the left, there's a little secret area here. This is uh, like a recharge point. But uh, you got to use the jump spell to get up to the statue, so uh, hopefully you have enough magic remaining for that. Then uh, head down. Head uh, down again. And uh, here we're going to want to go right again. Got another uh, flame spitting firebird. And uh, he's tearing me out. Now uh, here we got some fire spitting uh, things. They were shooting rocks, now they're spitting fire. Um, just so you know, you can't block the fire, so kind of be careful of that. Got more golden heads. Just uh, keep heading to the right. Down the elevator here. And uh, go right here. Um, here we have some slimes mixed in with our blocks. Um, you actually, what you want to do on this particular block set here is dig a path to the top. Because uh, we have a blue, one of these armored birdmen. And um, if you get yourself positioned where I'm sitting here, um, it makes killing this guy a lot easier. Um, I actually watched that on the speedrun for this game, so uh, I can't take credit on that trick. Um, work our way through the right here, through these blocks, and um, <coughs> on this screen here we just uh, got one of those fire spitters and a gap with a bubble. It's not really much to say about that one. Go down the elevator and go to the right. Here we got some curtains, like uh, if we were at a boss, but we're not. Um, I just kind of fight this guy just to kind of mess with him. There's um, not really a whole lot of point. I was just uh, kind of bored. <laughs> anyway, um, head to the right here. I'm trying to avoid him as best I can. I'm just, uh, getting pretty beat up again. Decided to go ahead and use life and uh, shield myself. This time we got a blue one of these. I'm uh, just trying to avoid him. Got the big giant bubbles. Just uh, dig your way through and move on. Just like before. Um, and also, just like before, we have a recharge station immediately afterwards. So, uh, I got like really lucky and got my b b uh, bottles both times. Sometimes you have to leave the screen and come back because they'll not always be bottles. Anyway, we want to go down again. And uh, this time we're going to go to the left, which uh, we got a slime here along with uh, a fire spitter. 
Um, the slimes in this place have like way more hit points than they uh, used to. Now um, when we get to the screen, uh, what we're going to want to do is a down thrust, um, drop to the floor right there. And then we're going to want to go to the right, um, up thrust this guy, just because it's cool. And then uh, we want to kind of carefully work our way across the bridge here, so as not to have the bubble be too much of an annoyance. And then uh, drop down that little hole, and then uh, work our way to the right again. Alright, here we are at the boss. Which, um, in order to damage the boss, you must cast the Thunder spell, which will turn him blue. The uh, Shield spell and the Jump spell are also handy, but not uh, necessary, I don't think. Um, to beat this guy, what you want to do is just kind of try to carefully avoid the fireballs while jumping up and uh, stabbing him in the head. Um, physical contact with him like, won't hurt you, unlike most bosses. But uh, the mass amount of fireballs he shoots out will. Um, as his life decreases, decreases um, the amount of fireballs he shoots out increases. So um, try to be wary of that. Um, he does kind of follow a pattern, but uh, sometimes it's hard to get him set up to the pattern just right. Alright, I defeated him. But not a moment too soon, I must say. Alright, we're ready to go beat the game now. Um, head off to the east here. <coughs> uh, jump up here, and uh, there's the Triforce. All right, but oh no, the wizard's got one last trick up his sleeve. He knocks your shadow out, and then you must face it. It's Dark Link. But if you just uh, duck down in this little corner here and stab, it's um, actually kind of easy. And uh. That's pretty much it for Zelda 2.